Let's get reaction to the latest developments from South Carolina Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy, who was chairman of the House Select Committee on Benghazi that led to the revelation of Hillary Clinton's private email server. He's in Greenville, South Carolina tonight. Congressman, thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you. I, I want to start with this uh, quote from the Washington Post talking about Uma Abedin and what she has told friends. It says, quote, top Hillary Clinton aide Uma Abedin has told people she is unsure how her emails could have ended up on a device she viewed as her husband's computer, the seizure of which has reignited the Clinton email investigation, according to a person familiar with the investigation and civil litigation over the matter. We're talking, according to the Wall Street Journal and others, some 650,000 emails. Congressman. Yeah, I mean, if she doesn't know how they got on the computer, there aren't that many ways it can happen, Uma. You could have used the computer, somebody could have forwarded it to your email account. I, I, I don't think that's what the Bureau is investigating, how they got there. I think the Bureau is investigating the nature of the emails. And, and Uma had a chance to turn over all of her devices when she was supposed to, and she chose not to do so. So, uh, so here we are. Now, what do you think about this? Here's John Podesta today in one of the Sunday shows talking about this whole thing. It was long on innuendo, short on facts. So we're calling on Mr. Comey to come forward and explain what's at issue here. Uh, you know, so far there's no charge of wrongdoing. There's no charge even that Hillary uh, and the reporting that backs it up coming from anonymous law enforcement sources uh, indicates it may not be about her server. It may not be about her at all. Congressman? Yeah, that's an old trick, Brad. I mean, blame the cops. Uh, if, if you're being investigated, blame the cops. Uh, Jim Comey's not responsible for a single one of the facts at hand. He didn't tell her to use a private server. He didn't tell Uma not to turn over all of her devices. And God knows he didn't tell Anthony Weiner to send sexually explicit texts to allegedly underage people. So Comey's not responsible for any of this. The timing is, is a direct and natural consequence of decisions that Hillary Clinton made. So I get that Podesta is upset. Brett, remember, he didn't even know about the email situation, and then he thought it had been taken care of by Cheryl Mills and Patrick Kennedy. So I get that he's frustrated. He's just frustrated at the wrong person. Now, do you believe that he, Comey, would have gone forward with this having no inkling of what's inside that computer? Um, I do think he has an inkling what is inside that computer, but he's in a really difficult spot. Unusual, tough facts make for, for tough conclusions. Um, and he's darned if he does and darned if he doesn't. I mean, keep in mind, Brett, let's assume tomorrow morning Hillary Clinton went before a rally and said, the FBI has investigated me, I've been cleared, that's all in the rearview mirror. Well, Comey knows that that is not true. So, so if his obligation is to the public, why would he not let us know? Investigations are never over unless there's a verdict or statute of limitations expires. So if he had not told us that they had re, uh, reopened the investigation, uh, then he, he may be in trouble with Congress, but he certainly would be in trouble with the public. They have a right to know, just like they have a right to know if I get stopped for speeding on the way home tonight, which may happen with the Dallas game coming on, or if <laughs> another member of Congress is charged in the next week. This notion that, that an election tolls the criminal justice system is laughable. I, I've never heard that before. Tonight we're hearing that some former prosecutors may put out a letter about uh, Jim Comey's actions, and here is Harry Reid's letter tonight to Jim Comey. Your actions in recent months have demonstrated a disturbing double standard for the treatment of sensitive information and what appears to be a clear intent to aid one political party over the other. I'm writing to inform you that my office has determined that these actions may violate the Hatch Act, which bars FBI officials from using their official authority to influence an election. Through your party Partisan actions. This is Harry Reid. You may have broken the law. The double standard established by your actions is clear. Your reaction, Congressman? Well, thank God he's leaving uh, is my initial reaction. My second reaction is I did not know Mormons use drugs, and anyone who is capable of sending out that press release has to be under the influence of something. The person responsible for this fact pattern is Secretary Clinton. Uh, Jim Comey did not tell her to use a private server. Uh, he did not say, 
uh, mislead the public about whether or not you turn over all your work emails. He certainly didn't say, hey, Secretary Clinton, why don't you say there, you neither sent nor received classified information? So, uh, look, uh, Senator Reid is a political hack. Uh, Jim Comey is a law enforcement officer. Uh, he's not a Republican or a Democrat. I've had my differences with him in the past, but, but he's not a political hack like Senator Reid is. What do you think happens here? Um, I think that the FBI is going to run this out just like they would. I hope if it were Hillary Smith or Hillary Jones, um, and they're not going to be on a compressed time schedule, Brett. I, I, I mean, I, I get that there's an election coming up in a week, but there's a republic that I would like to see last a little longer than that. And we have to have confidence in the FBI and the Department of Justice. Keep in mind, Brett. It was not Jim Comey who met on the tarmac with the spouse of the target of the investigation. And it was President Obama who prejudged the outcome of this investigation while the investigation was ongoing. So if Harry Reid wants to write a letter to somebody, tell him to write Loretta Lynch and President Obama. Is there anything preventing Hillary Clinton from reaching out to Uma Abedin and saying, you know what, just put out all these emails? Oh, no, no, she, nothing in the world, nothing to have prevented her last week from, from returning them to the State Department. She, she is welcome tomorrow morning to have a press conference with Uma Abedin, and they can invite Anthony Weiner, too, if they want to, and say, this is what is in all of those emails that are on our computer that we failed to turn over to the State Department and the FBI when we were supposed to. Nothing stopping her from doing that. Congressman Gowdy, as always, thank you.